everyone, it's Laura. I'm checking in on day eight of the Veggie Diaries. My journey of eating nine cups of vegetable each day, and it's not just nine cups, it's actually a very specific combination. Three cups of leafy greens, dark green leafy greens, and three cups of colorful vegetables, which are colorful all the way through. So it's not gonna just be like an apple, it's going to be a red bell pepper because the red goes all the way through or a beet or carrot. Um, that's what colorful vegetables. You can also add some fruit in there, but I'm minimizing fruit. And then also the third category, the last three cups are sulfur vegetables, uh, which are like broccoli, asparagus, kale is actually included in that as well. Um, cabbage, so cruciferous, onions, garlic. So, I have been doing this now for seven days. I'm here on day eight, like I just said. And um, I've discovered a few things about getting in enough vegetables. First, I have to make it a priority. It has to be the number one thought in my mind. I have to start eating them earlier in the day. Because, you know, it doesn't seem like nine cups is a lot to some people, uh, but it, it actually ends up being kind of a lot of vegetables. And not being used to eating that many vegetables, um, it's been a little bit of a challenge making sure that I get in enough protein at the same time, get enough healthy fats, and so that's been a little bit of a balance. But uh, I basically had to abandon my um, intermittent fasting where I start eating later in the day and I need to start eating those vegetables. I also need to make them the number one thing I eat. I don't eat other stuff until I've had at least uh, one of those three cups. I don't, you know, one cup of each or all the greens or something of that nature. So. Um, I have lost two pounds in the last two weeks and I have not had any calorie restrictions because when I have had fat, I've had a lot of full fat coconut milk, I've had a lot of coconut oil and um, quite a few handfuls of nuts because I just uh, um, soaked and dehydrated some almonds and pecans and I absolutely love nuts so very hard for me to stay away from those so I've definitely not been calorie restricted, not in any way. Um, I just haven't gotten enough protein in my diet. Uh, and I, when I say protein, I mean animal flesh because that's what I know works best for me. And I know that that's what's going to be best for my gut and keeping it strong. So, uh, and I know other people don't always agree with that and that's fine, but that's where I'm at and that's where I, what I go with because it seems to really work for me at least. So, um, other than that, um, losing the two pounds and, and having to really make a priority with the vegetable, what I have found is that with the increase of sulfur vegetables, my liver has been processing a lot more and I've been in a state of um, mild to medium detoxification. And for me, with my genetics, I don't do detox very well. I um, actually have the, the phase where things are um, being eliminated out of my, uh, my, my body. Um, Kind of in between the kind of beginning of the detox and the end, which I know that's getting a little complicated. I don't do that very well, and so um, I really have to be careful. So I cut back actually yesterday on the vegetables a little bit because I've just had a headache pretty much for five days in a row, and it's just this mild kind of detox sort of headache that I recognize. So anyhow, you know it's going well. Uh, it is a lot of vegetables, and. Um, but I'm really excited to see what's going to happen. Uh, I, I came to here, here again with no makeup so that you can see what I look like. I don't know if I look any different from last week or not. I haven't really checked it out. But um, this is a good journey. And I'm looking forward to, let me see, if I'm doing 90 days, I guess I'm looking forward to the next 82. All right. Um, next week is going to be a really interesting post because I will be out of town at a conference staying in a hotel for three days. So that's going to be a little bit of a challenge, but I'll figure it out. All right. Until next time, bye.